Hey everyone, Clode 2025.0 is all about making your design process magical. Harnessing AI so you can focus on the creative while we handle the mundane. Let's dive into our biggest updates. Let's start with our amazing key features. Our beta AI pose generator will automatically create dynamic poses for you, making the time-consuming work of creating poses obsolete. You'll be able to use either Clo's updated prompt system to generate poses closer to your ideas, or you will be able to bring in your own images. Once your pose is created, you can easily save it and then apply that pose to any of your Clo projects. Our pattern drafter takes parametric a step further. Now you are able to create a range of shirt styles using our patented measurement technique. Easily type in your measurements and Clo will guide you on where and how that measurement will adjust the pattern. Once you have a pattern you like, simply select Create and Clo will create a range and sew for you. We didn't stop there though. Using our beta AI pattern drafter, you now can start with just a sketch. Either have Clo generate a sketch from our prompt tools, or you can drop in one of your own sketches, and Clo will generate the measurements for you. Using our measurement section, you can continue to adjust and design further. Once ready, simply select Create, and Clo will arrange and sew your designs just like magic. Our animation editor UI has been updated to now include keyframes. These keyframes will allow for quick editing within animation, along with a range of editing options to choose from and more precision and control. You'll now have the ability to activate or deactivate so many different assets within Clo, ranging anywhere from gravity to colorway, making it possible to create exciting and powerful new animations like this one here. You will now be able to see fur within your 3D window, allowing you to make more decisions within the 3D window instead of needing to go into your render window. Simply switch to fur strand type within our material section and you'll be able to see your fur immediately. As you see, this will also show up in the render window as well. Print layout has gotten a huge upgrade, and so has your production workflows. With our new texture nesting, we can now read and follow the placement of your textures within the 3D window and make sure the placement is followed when nesting out the pattern. Simply select the pattern matching and depending on the type of texture application, select either texture, print, or lock. You can see through these examples how this can impact a range of production categories and unlock many more production workflows within Clo. Let's talk about avatars. AI Studio has been upgraded to include a background option while also improving the overall output of images. Once opened, you can adjust either the avatar or the background. You can of course adjust both to create a truly realistic output, 
If you have an idea, you can utilize our prompts by either using keywords or writing in what you're thinking to create the images. If you have an image already, you can simply upload that image into our studio. From there, our studio will rework the image to create the desired environment for your garment to live within. We have added in IK joint mapping for FBX avatars, allowing for more compatibility with external avatars. The process is quite simple. Select the point in the 3D window that matches with the one in the avatar editor, or just let Glow figure it out with our auto match. Once applied, any pose in Glow can be applied to this avatar. Flip pose is a great new simple addition to our avatar. It will allow you to flip any pose you have within the 3D window. Our avatar editor is continuously improving. Our newest improvement is with hips and breasts. For our hips, you now can control the shaping of them, deciding how the hip should dip in or out of the body, and also controlling the bottom of the avatar, if it should be round or flat. For breasts, you now have the option of adding in cup sizes. You can use your own breast cup sizes, or you can use our clothes default cup sizes. From there, you can cycle through the different cup sizes to apply on your avatar. Let's go through our 3D window update. Our UV has become an editor and moved under our materials and UV toolbar. But that isn't all we've done for our UV editor. Now you can also export out the back or side of your textures within the UV editor for better compatibility outside of Clo. Let's check out our rendering update. We have added in the option to choose your colorways within the 3D snapshot. This will work for both our single snapshot or our multi snapshot. You can choose to select all the colorways or just specific colorways, allowing you to now quickly export out multiple colorways of your project all at once. We have given you all some more control within our render window and custom views. Now you are able to control the depth of field through each custom view. It is quite simple. You can use the left click to find your focus point and Clo will automatically apply it to the custom view. The control is in your hands and the execution is done seamlessly within Clo. Let's see our trim improvements. Attaching trims within Clo is easier than ever now. Utilizing the tack tool for our trims, you can create multiple attachment points on a single trim. Select the tack tool, click on the trim, and then the pattern piece you would like the trim to attach to. You can create as many attachment points as you would like. Let's go through simulation update. We have added in another option to our 3D selection tool called advanced pinching that will allow control over what and how much you are selecting. Using the sliders, you can control how much you are selecting. Using the checkboxes, you can decide which pattern should be affected. Let's talk about our UI. Now when bringing in a project file, you can choose if you want the toggle menu within that project file to open up, or if you want the default toggle menu to be used when the file is opened. We have added a new library window within Clo and created some updates that will make it even easier to use. Now you can transfer all previous library folders to the new library, and you can also rename the folders. Let's see what is new for materials. More user-friendly tools have been added into Close Colorway. Using the shortcut key O, you can open up Colorway, 
Now with any object browser, you can cycle through the color chips and see the different colorways. Once it's open, you can edit the front, back, or side of the fabric within the colorway editor. Let's go through our grading and DXFs. We have made annotations within Clo even easier to edit. Now you can change color, size, edit the text, and rotate the annotation all within the 2D window. Let's check out 2D CAD. Our smooth curve tool has become more powerful than ever. With the ability to use the tool in the original method, we also included a new method involving curve points, giving you more control over editing your curves and making it so only part of the pattern will be adjusted without worrying about adjusting other parts of the pattern. There are many more features that we have worked on and are included within this release, elevating your editing capabilities to a whole new level. Here are just a few more exciting features to mention. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our upcoming deep dives where you'll learn all about the new features. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Happy creating.